Today, I'm sharing how we went about adding some extra storage to our basement door to contain some of our cleaning supplies and create a cleaning closet, so to speak. This is my first time using the Container Stores Alpha over the door storage rack and figured it would be a great solution to add some extra hidden storage. First, I used their online program to design the door. It's very user-friendly and will walk you through a few questions such as whether or not the door is residential or commercial, what component style you prefer, I chose the white mesh, what type of door rack you would like to design, I chose hanging over the door, and lastly, how wide and tall the door is. Next, you will look through all of the options and add whichever baskets and other accessories suit your space. Once you have settled on the final design, just add the entire design project to your cart. Alpha also sells kits that have a handful of baskets in multiple sizes ready to ship if you prefer to go that route. Setup is very straightforward. The top bracket is hung over the top of the door and then the bottom bracket is slid onto the bottom of the door. The vertical piece is then hooked into place and then the top screw is tightened to secure everything in place. Use a level to ensure that everything lines up evenly. I then played around with the baskets to determine where they fit best. The baskets snap on and off easily, making them very customizable. The first basket, which is a large, has items we don't reach for often. It is back stock for some of the dog's cookies that don't fit in their bureau. The Smart Store subcontainer fits perfectly in here as well, which is one, always satisfying, and two, perfect for holding grocery bags. We use grocery bags to clean out the litter boxes. I do fold them up nicely to create a little triangle. This is a fairly simple fold to achieve. Just shake the bag out and then lay it flat by pulling the handles and tucking in both sides. Then fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then start folding it in triangles until you get to the end where the handles are. Tuck the handles into the fold and you have a compact little triangle grocery bag. The next two baskets, which are both mediums, have some of our cleaners, the pretty ones at least. I realize this is a little ridiculous looking and not always ideal. However, I gravitate towards creating systems that make me happy to look at and sorting things Roji Biv consistently hits that mark. Aside from its aesthetic beauty, these are all cleaning products that we do reach for frequently. There's degreaser, which is my best friend in the kitchen, stone countertop spray, window cleaner, anti-bac, and all-purpose cleaner in here. I rearranged things a little and added a small basket to hold our running armbands. These really never had a great home before. I think before they were just always draped over the stairwell banister. Below the small basket, we have another large basket which stores some of our cleaning wipes. I do order most of these items from Grove Collaborative. A paper towel roll is also kept in here so that we can grab it easily to clean off equipment in our basement gym area. The last basket is also large and stores excess supplies, which is just Swiffer pads and cleaning solution. And then last but not least, these snap-on labels are available separately. As you can imagine, they were a no-brainer for me. Labeling is the icing on top of the cake every time. I printed my labels off using Microsoft Word and then cut them down. There is a label for pets, two for cleaners, run, clean, and Swiffer. In the stairwell, there is a basket mounted to the wall to store all of the vacuum attachments which correlate with the Dyson cordless vacuum that is mounted right next to it. An outlet was added to accommodate its charging cord. On the opposite wall, the Dyson command hooks were added to hang the Swiffer and the broom. This is our beautiful new cleaning closet, so to speak. It is both functional and aesthetically pleasing, which I love. 